Martha Elizabeth Rogers was born in May 12, 1914 in Dallas, Texas. Shortly after, her family moved to Knoxville, Tennessee. Martha was a very curious child, and she found kindergarten, kindergarten terribly exciting. Rogers received her nursing diploma from the Knoxville General Hospital School of Nursing in 1936. Then then earned her public health nursing degree from George Peabody College in Tennessee in 1937. Going further, she received Master of Art degree from Teachers College at Columbia University in 1945, and her doctorate in nursing was given to her from John Hopkins University in Baltimore in 1954. Rogers officially retired as a professor and head of a division of nursing in 1975 after 21 years of service. Rogers' life publication includes three books and more than 200 articles. Martha Rogers died March 13, 1994. Introduction to Theory Martha Rogers' theory is known as the science of unitary human being. The theory view nursing as both a science and an art as it provides a way to view the unitary human being who is integral with the, the universe. Martha Rogers believed that the unitary human being and the environment are one. In short, a patient cannot be separated from his and her environment when addressing health and treatment. The Rogerian model provides the abstract philosophical framework from which to view the unitary human being in the environment field. Within the Rogerian framework, nursing is based on theoretical knowledge that guide nursing practice. Mrs. Rogers' theoretical framework of unitary human being for nursing process. The nursing process is the essential core of practices that guide nurses in delivery of holistic patient-focused care. The nursing process includes an assessment, the diagnosis, outcome planning, and implementation and evaluation. Martha Rogers proposed to implement the science of unitary human being framework in nursing process. According to the science of unitary human being, nursing process includes pattern appraisal, mutual pairing, and evaluation. Pattern appraisal is a comprehensive assessment of the patient that incorporates cognitive input, sensory input, intuition, and language. Pattern appraisal also evaluates the manifestation of the human environmental rhythm. Those rhythms are exchanging, communication, and relating. Nurse validates the entire appraisal along with the patient. Mutual pattern, patterning is a proper patterning of the energy field between the human and environment. It is a voluntary process between patient and nurse where patient naturally choose to participate in the awareness way of his or her well-being. Nursing goal is to in identify the area of distant like pain, discomfort, anxiety and implement the patterning process. Patterning processes such as awareness, choice, freedom and involvement are essential of the change process. Patterning activities may include meditation, imaginary journaling, modifying surroundings such as color, temperature, sound, touch, music, art, and humor. Evaluation is ongoing and encompasses a repetition of the appraisal process. Evaluation process helps to identify the dissonance and harmony. It validates appraisal with patient by identifying area of dissonance and harmony and by including patterning activities. Fundamental ideas about the theory or assumptions. Man is a unified whole possessing his own integrity and manifesting characteristics that are more than and different from the sum of his parts. Man and environment are continuously exchanging matter and energy with one another. The life process evolves irreversibly and undirectionally along the space-time continuum. Pattern and organization identify the man and reflects his innovative wholeness. 
Man is characterized by the capacity for abstraction and imagery, language and thought sensation, and emotion. Concepts of Rogers Theory There are eight concepts in Rogers Nursing Theory. Energy field, openness, pattern, pandimensionality, homeodynamic principles, resonance, healthy, and integrality. Energy field the energy field is a fundamental unit of both the living and the non-living. It provides a way to view people and the environment as irreducible wholes. The energy fields continuously vary in intensity, density, and extent. Openness. The human field and the environmental field are exchanging their energy constantly. There are no boundaries that stop energy flow between fields. It refers to qualities exhibited by open systems. Human beings and their environment or open systems. Pattern. Rogers defined the pattern as a distinguishing characteristic of an energy field seen as a single wave. It is an abstraction and gives identity to the field. Pandimensional. Pandimensionality is defined as nonlinear domain without spatial or temporal attributes. The parameters that humans use in language to describe events are arbitrary and the present is relative. There is no temporal ordering of lives. Principles of homeodynamics. Homeodynamics should be understood as a dynamic version of homeostasis, which is a relatively steady state of internal operation in the living system. Homeodynamic principles postulate a way of viewing unitary human beings. There are three principles of homeodynamics. These are resonance, helicity, and integrality. Principle of resonance. It speaks to the nature of the change occurring between human and environmental fields. Resonance is an ordered arrangement of rhythm characterizing both human field and environmental field that undergoes continuous dynamic metamorphosis in the human environmental process. Principle of Helicy The human environment field is a dynamic, open system in which change is continuous due to the constant interchange between the human and environment. This change is also innovative. Because of constant interchange, an open system is never exactly the same at any two moments. Rather, the system is continually new or different. Principle of Integrality there is a constant mutual interaction and mutual change between the human energy field and the environmental field, whereby simultaneous is taking place in both at the same time. The fields are one and integrated but unique to each other. Case scenario. Mrs. Wilson admitted to community nursing with new diagnosis of type 2 diabetes and risk of fall. She has high blood sugar hypertension, malnutrition, and possible dehydration. During the history collection, she is confused about the, her new diagnosis, about how to check, monitor her blood sugar, insulin administration, and the importance of diet hydration. Mrs. Wilson also mentioned that her vision decreased and she is not able to see needles and numbers on her monitor. On assessment, her home environment, environment shows obvious unitary, unsanitary condition. Mrs. Wilson is on high risk of falls due to cluttered house and vision problem. Mrs. Wilson has three cats and she loved them so much that she called them my babies. It appears that Mrs. Wilson has hard time to take care of her cats as her home had the smell of cat urine, but she does not admit it. Mrs. Wilson mostly eats junk food and drinks soft drinks. She is taking good care of herself. She is well dressed, clean, and her hair are well done. Mrs. Wilson lives alone. She has two supportive daughter and one son, who are able to help, but she is reluctant to for any type of help. She expresses the anger toward her daughter because they tell her to, the truth about her home environment. Mrs. Wilson expresses herself as a healthy with little trouble. She denies risk of fall and considers herself clean and able to take care of herself. Take care of herself. Mrs. Wilson nursing assessment, pattern appraisal. Mrs. Wilson experiencing the pattern of distance such as confusion, vision problem, overwhelming with her new diagnosis, lack of energy, 
risk of fall, impaired nutritional status, and control of diabetes hypertension. Mrs. Wilson also experiencing disconnection from environment field patterns such as lack of family support, anxiety and anger related to family dynamic, and acceptance of family support, isolation from the outside world, and unsanitary home condition. Nursing intuitive reflection. Mrs. Wilson enjoys her little world. She loves her cats too much. She wants to keep her independence. Mrs. Wilson wants to stay in her own home environment. She does not consider her home environment as unsanitary. She does not want strangers to come to her house. Mrs. Wilson does not consider herself at risk. And she thinks that her diet is appropriate. Nursing intervention and rationals, mutual partnering, empowering. Mrs. Wilson maintains safe and clean environment. Mrs. Wilson house was cleaned with the help of housekeeping, offer her choice of positive white pictures and poster, make her room very bright with the white lights, make her very visible for her. According to Martha Rogers theory, nursing action always focused on unitary human being, on change of energy field between the human and environment. Rationals. Keeping the environment from clusters free and smells free prevents fall and respiratory related sickness and to promote healthy lifestyle. Sharing knowledge. Maintaining good blood glucose within normal level. Educate Mrs. Wilson. Home glucose monitoring. Reading labels and discuss how anti and diabetic medicine medications work. Check viability of insulin and review the type of insulin and explains the purpose of rotating the site. Mrs. Wilson seems like has unhealthy eating habits. Introduce healthy eating pattern and nutrition intake, low sodium, fat and cholesterol diet. Martha Rogers theory says that nursing exists to serve people and the safe practice of nursing depends on the nature and the amount of scientific nursing knowledge the nurse brings her practice. Rationals Eating healthy food and following diet program will help to maintain blood sugar level within normal range, maintain body weight and give healthy body. Eating diet with low fat, sodium and low cholesterol will help manage fluid retention and hypertensive response, decrease myocardial workload also. Fostering. Encourage Mrs. Wilson to increase her fluid intake. Adequate hydration helps to prevent her dehydration, keep her good energy level and it helps mobilization of secretions. Provide calm, restful surroundings and activity. Helps to promote relaxation, maintain activity restriction, assist her with self-activities as needed. Less physical stress and tension that affect blood pressure and the cause of hypertension. Provide comfort measures such as back and neck massage, aromatherapy. Decrease the discomfort may reduce the sympathetic simu simulation. Instruct in relax relaxation techniques, guided imagery distraction, interacting with Mrs. Wilson, humors and music therapy as per her choice of selection. As per Martha Rogers theory, principles of helicity are helicic intervention. Nursing action include all non-invasive actions such as guided imaginary, humor, therapeutic touch, music, etc., which are used to increase the potential of human feel. Rationals can reduce the stressful stimulate, produce calming effect thereby reducing blood pressure. Goals that will support Mrs. Wilson on her recovery. Mrs. Wilson will convey her needs and work with others to fulfill her needs. Mrs. Wilson will be referred to a nutritionist. She will manifest no signs of malnutrition and dehydration. She will verbalize understanding of importance of nutrition to general health, will verbalize and demonstrate healthy food selection, and demonstrate lifestyle changes to prevent development of dehydration and malnutrition. 
In relation to Roger's theory, involving the client in decision-making can maximize the client's health potential by empowering independence and openness to change. Mrs. Wilson will be referred to a home health agency for home support services or housekeeping. She will be free from falls by having clutter-free and clean home and verbalize understanding on the importance of having a clean and healthy home environment. In relation to Roger's theory, persons and their environment are imperative and in a mutually simultaneous process that cannot be separated as described under the unitary perspective. Mrs. Wilson a nursing visit scheduled every day to manage her needs with all of her medications for her blood pressure and blood glucose. She will achieve and maintain blood glucose and blood pressure level within normal range. According to Martha Rogers, nursing exists to assist people and the safe practice of nursing depends on the nature and amount of scientific nursing knowledge the nurse brings to his or her practice. Mrs. Wilson will establish a good and open relationship with her family for further support. For client evaluation, Mrs. Wilson shared and expressed her needs and worked with others to fulfill her needs. Mrs. Wilson is free from falls as her home environment is now clutter-free through the help of housekeeper who visits twice a week. Mrs. Wilson manifests no signs of malnutrition and dehydration through the help of the nutritionist that encouraged her to have healthy lifestyle. Mrs. Wilson verbalized understanding of importance of nutrition to general health, verbalized and demonstrated healthy food selection, and demonstrated lifestyle changes by getting rid of the junk foods. Achieved and uh, maintains blood sugar and blood pressure level within normal range as she already understands the importance of balanced diet appropriate for diabetic and hypertensive patients through the help of nutritionist and the nurse that empowers Mrs. Wilson's good compliance on her medication. Mrs. Wilson established a good and open relationship with her family who was very supportive to her recovery. Her two daughters and son visit twice a week to provide physical and emotional support that Mrs. Wilson needs. According to Wright 2007, the 21st century update on Martha E. Rogers' Science of Unitary Human Beings was presented by Fawcett 2003, who interviewed Elizabeth Barrett, Violet Malinsky, and John Phillips, founders of the Society of Rogerian Scholars. She focused the interview with these Rogerian experts on the discipline of nursing, nursing practice, education, administration, and research, non-invasive practice modalities as tools of practice, therapeutic touch and imagery, practice and educational settings have adopted the science of unitary human beings as a guide. Roger, science of uh, unitary human beings centers nursing frameworks and theories provide the power that gives substantive form to the vision of nursing's important contribution to 21st century healthcare. Thank you.